jinsi nyakati na mazingira yanavyobadilika ndivyo wanawake wanavyozidi kujizatiti kubadilisha mitazamo ya kijadi na kujitosa kwenye kazi zinazodhaniwa kuwa ngome za wanaume hii ndio hali ya Agnes Anguela Adhiambo mtafiti wa masuala ya magonjwa ambaye alivunja miiko ya kijamii na sasa amenawiri katika kazi iliyohusishwa na wanaume hapo awali hebu tazama ni hali isiyo ya kawaida nchini Kenya na hakika katika kanda ya Afrika Mashariki. Agnes Aguela Thiambo sio tu mtaalamu uchunguzi katika maabara, mbali pia ni mtafiti wa masuala ya magonjwa katika taasisi ya utafiti ya Kemri huko Kilifi. My journey in science is quite interesting because it actually started uh, when I was a child. I was a very curious child. Um, I did not like I must stay weird child. I did not like to play with dolls, neither did I like to watch cartoons. <laughs> I would uh in those moments I would much rather have had uh, small animals um to do my very crude experiment at the annoyance of my mother and sorry to the annoyance of my mom because I would be busy dissecting small animals and really being inquisitive and wondering what lies beneath the skin. Adhiambo amenawiri katika kazi ambayo inaonekana kutengewa wanaume. I got to see, you know, practically see a female mentors which was encouraging because then you know that, you know, there's already somebody in that field who has made it and so you then believe that you also can make it. Um and they provided a very good uh, foundational um guidance and mentorship to me um and i was able to then uh, develop a deeper interest in immunology which is the study of the immune system idadi ya wanawake wanaojitosa kwenye ulingo wa sayansi na ufundi humu nchini inazidi kuongezeka na kuzidisha matumaini kwamba mwanya wa kijinsia katika ajira hatimaye utazibwa na usawa kuafikiwa we need to develop our laboratory architecture at the university to be able to actually provide that level of education